Hello Scorpio, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. Please do not make it fit if it's not your reading. Um, it just was not your message today. You can check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we have for you in love. Spirit messages for Scorpio in love. Scorpio, please. Does Scorpio need to know? Does Scorpio need to know in love? Huge thank you to everyone who has commented, subscribed, or liked the videos. I really appreciate it. I've been reading all of your comments, and lately I've been getting the sweetest comments, and they've just been making my day. And you guys don't know how much those help me, so just wanted to say a huge thank you to those of you who take the time to do that. All right, Scorpio, let's see. That's just for Scorpio, please. What does Scorpio need to know and love? Okay, we got peace. What else, Spirit, for Scorpio? What else? Whatever situation I talk about today, guys, uh, time is fluid, so it could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. We got co-create. I always have such a hard time with this card. <laughs> I've gotten it before and every time I see it, my mind instantly focuses on, you know, the creation of something with someone else. That's the initial thought that I get. But every time I read the message, that's not it. So I'm going to read the message. <laughs> my mind just refuses to let the actual meaning, I guess, stay uh, in my brain. What else does Scorpio need to know for love? Mending. Interesting. Someone could be wanting to fix something with you, Scorpio, or vice versa. Roles can be reversed, guys. So whatever I talk about, um, you know, if I say you or them, feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. All right, let's see. Of course, I made a mess there. Co-create real quickly here. Connections of the heart serve to inspire you opening you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own. You're looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You're going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art now, the very embodiment of beauty. So see, it has something to do with working together with someone else. It's all about looking at yourself and seeing something there that you haven't seen before so maybe you're having some sort of realizations um scorpio uh lately maybe because of the new moon or the super moon that we just had um in libra so let's see what we can get from these messages i'm going to clarify each of these energies just trying something new let's see Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Help me clarify these energies, please, for Scorpio. Let me clarify these messages one more. Let me clarify these messages for Scorpio, please. All right, Scorpio, tell me about peace. What is peace about? There's like a, this is a very beautiful um, image. There's like a dove in the background. And also it looks like an egg. So I'm thinking something about to hatch something. Um, something's taking place like a, like a rebirth, like a birth of something here. And there's also some sort of fix or someone wanting to heal a situation um, or a connection here. Tell me about peace. Okay, we got the Knight of Wands reversed. I want to get this one too. And Four of Cups reversed. So um, there's renewed interest. It looks like some of you were dealing with someone that was in and out of your life or very impulsive, almost reckless with the Knight of Wands reversed. Um, Knight of Wands reversed is also someone that doesn't have the best intentions in mind. They're not here to commit so 
I feel like at some point you were unhappy in this partnership or you felt you had lost an opportunity or something. What else can you get here? King of Cups reversed. Interesting. So I feel like you're going through a situation with someone who is emotionally immature, who um, could be a little bit um, manipulative, like they have no control over their emotions. And so when they um, have an outburst or something like that, um, they tend to manipulate situations. I feel like someone here also was like going back and forth. I feel like this is not, this was somebody that had a different story every time. Um, this is somebody that um, you never really knew what to expect from them is what I'm getting. Um, and I feel like you were very discontent with this. Um, very, um, I feel like the, the interest that you had in this person kind of went away. Um, the more this person acted up, the more in and out of their life they were, the more erratic they were, um, the less interested you became in them. I feel like there's something happening though that's renewing your interest. Tell me about co-create. Tell me about this co-create energy, please. Six of Wands reversed. Yeah, something was not successful. I think you're realizing something was not successful because again, co-create is about looking in the mirror and having, having some sort of realization, right? About who you are. And that's what the full moon in Libra was all about. Three of wands. So you're waiting for something here. What else for Scorpio? Temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius here or just trying to be patient. Some of you are trying to be patient. Um, some of you are trying to blend um, something here or create something, um, come together here with, with someone. Um, but I, I really get the sense that some of you are trying to be patient. Something didn't work out with the Six of Wands reversed. Or this is also somebody who's very cocky, overconfident. Someone that may probably, probably made a lot of promises and were very confident about, uh, um, how do you say it? Fulfilling those promises and it ended up being just a sham kind of. Let me just move these up so I have some more room because I'm gonna clarify all of these energies even more. Tell me about mending. The devil reversed. Yeah, there's been um, an unhealthy situation. You're breaking free from an unhealthy situation. Okay, King of Wands upright. If you want to take action towards something that you're passionate about, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, this could be uh, a water sign here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is someone, regardless of the sign, this is someone that wants to take action, that sees something and wants to head towards it. What else for Scorpio, please? King of Pentacles reversed. So some of you could possibly be suffering financially. This is also someone a little bit stubborn or set in their ways. Um, they could be selfish as well. Um... I'm also getting from this energy someone that does not want to let go. Um, they don't want to give anything. They want things to stay. They want things to stay the way they are. This King of Pentacles reverse wants things to stay the way they are. This King of Wands upright wants to move, wants to change things. So you might have some sort of an interference here. And it makes perfect sense that I have the Eight of Wands reverse. This is pretty much like a stop. Whatever was moving, whether it was Cupid's arrow, communication back and forth, that has been blocked or intercepted. So there's nothing moving forward here. Some Someone's blocking this movement. Spirit, help me clarify these energies more for Scorpio. Scorpio, bear with me as I try to shuffle these cards like a normal person. <laughs> My hands are really small, so it's it's very difficult for me to shuffle like that. Okay. 
kind of want to split this again and shuffle again. So, Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Scorpio, please. Let's start with this Knight of Wands reversed. Again, I'm getting the sense of like erratic behavior here. This could also be a player, someone who couldn't commit. Um, you couldn't rely, you can't count on this person, this Knight of Wands reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. Yeah, this, be, this situation became too overwhelming. There's the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries, but what I'm getting is um, this situation became too overwhelming for you, Scorpio. Um, some of you could be um, even having issues with your health or with stress. Um, this is just a burden that's just really um, hard to carry. You cannot go on anymore. Um, I feel like with the Emperor here, it's almost like you've, again, with this real realization that you're having, it's almost like you want to take charge of the situation. Um, you are regaining your confidence in a way to take power into your own hands, to, to make things right, to rebalance the situation. I feel like that's you. And just as I say that, I have the strength card under the deck. Tell me about this four of cups reverse. So it's like you're having a lot of um, control over your emotions here, trying to be rational, trying not to force anything either, because I, I don't think that worked out for you in the past. Tell me more about this four of cups reverse, please. The higher font reversed. This could have been a long term commitment that you were in. Or you could be dealing with a Taurus or another. Um, the higher power reverse for me as a reader also is someone who's in a relationship for appearances. Um, because they want to do the right thing. You know, they don't they're, they stay in the relationship because that's what society expects them to do. This could also be a divorce. Or a breakup. Or someone as well could be rebelling against these expectations. It's like you've been doing things right this whole time, but now you are kind of rebelling against those expectations and um, doing your own thing. Yeah, this was definitely the end of a long-term commitment. I have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Um, money could possibly be an issue right now for you. Uh, there's no stability or security here. And I think that's why you slowly started losing interest here. Or you have renewed interest somewhere else. Tell me more about this four of uh, cups reverse. Yep, there you are. Death card, sign of Scorpio here. You want to completely transform or end this. You want to change um, Scorpio. I feel like, um, let me move this back so you guys can see a little bit more. Um, I feel like you gave this relationship a lot of effort, but someone else was not meeting you halfway. Tell me about this King of Cups reverse. Yeah, look, Three of Cups. I feel like this person, um, hold on, let me get some more cards before. Tell me more about this King of Cups reverse. I feel like this person told you they were gonna work with you, put in the same amount of effort, King of Swords. Um, they were going to collaborate with you, excuse me, on this relationship. And it ended up being something they couldn't follow through on. The world reverse. Someone here doesn't want you to move on. See, I feel like this is you with the King of Swords energy ready to, it's like you know this person was just telling you what you wanted to hear um, and you're ready to move on, but there's something that's blocking this new beginning for you. This could also have been too many people here, um, either family involved, other, in, um, a third party situation it doesn't have to be another person with a third party it could be um work or something else that was distracting this person but i feel like you want to rebalance the situation with justice you want to make things right you want to mend things for yourself here 
Um, I don't see you trying to work on this relationship. I see you trying to create a new beginning for yourself here because you've realized this was not successful. This was essentially a failure. Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse for Scorpio, please. There's the King of Cups upright. I think you have emotional maturity or you're being emotionally mature about this situation, Scorpio. Possibly at some point, this could have been you, this King of Cups reversed, where you were kind of an emotional mess. Um, uh, you were very, how do I say it? Just not emotionally mature yet. Um, possibly because it was so painful or it caught you off guard. And so your reaction was an emotional reaction. But now I see you recognizing that this was a failure and being a little more emotionally grounded here with the King of Cups. Tell me more about the Six of Wands reverse. Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're blocking any negative energy. You're blocking anything that's getting in your way. You're standing up for yourself, Scorpio. Can I get one more for the Six of Wands reverse, please? Well, that's way too many. But that was the Five of Swords that came back up. So I get, I get the sense of conflict here. It's like you're defending yourself against something here. A person or a situation. But it's not going to stop you. I see you still going after that new beginning with the Page of Wands. There's communication possibly here about a new beginning. Tell me about the Three of Wands. You could be thinking about sending a message and this Three of Wands is you waiting to get a message back. King of Pentacles upright. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Um, I think you're waiting to, to have stability and security. I'm also getting the sense that there are several people involved here. Tell me more about this Three of Wands. If you are a, um, a, uh, a feminine, a divine feminine uh, Scorpio, then this could be that you are involved with um, two masculine energies here, or possibly three. I also have an emperor. This could be a father figure or um, someone you look up to with the emperor here. Maybe this person is helping you or, or you are just in a family unit or something. I feel like there's several people here. Um, if it's not that, then this is just um, shifts in energy for you. You know, I have an um, King of Pentacles that is reversed here and then upright. King of Cups reversed and upright. Two upright kings here as well. King of Swords and Emperor are upright. So I feel like before where things were possibly not stable emotionally, they are becoming more stable. Tell me more about this Three of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Yes, you are you are working on stability becoming more confident, more secure in yourself, possibly being single here. Or this could also be um, you have your eye on someone or vice versa. Tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles. Who's this Nine of Pentacles, please? Magician. Interesting. Yeah, I think you're manifesting either being emotionally uh, stable again, um, not emotionally, <laughs> financially stable and secure again, emotionally as well. But I, I get the sense you're manifesting a s stability, balance. You could also be manifesting um, approaching someone because I have the Page of Wands here and the Nine of Pentacles. So I'm thinking that this is someone you have an eye on or that someone else has an eye on you thinking that you are single, available and doing well. Tell me about temperance. Thank you. Four of Swords Reverse. Interesting. So this can mean a few things with temperance. Um, this can mean that you are have healed and are ready to now wake up and keep it moving. Um, this could be that you're feeling a little bit restless as well about um, making something work here, making something come together. Also, if this is someone that you have not been communicating with at all, because Four of Swords for me is no communication, like a break in communication. Then this is coming out of that. Tell me more about temperance. 
Yeah, the high priestess reversed. Some of you possibly were ignoring your intuition. Um, and you've healed from that. You've kind of went into kind of like a Zen mode where you were really looking into your actions. Because Four of Swords, that's when you're just thinking and pondering and doing a lot of reflection. So you could have possibly realized that you were ignoring your intuition this whole time. Some of you, I feel with the Eight of Cups reverse, there could be someone returning or you're having a hard time moving on here. Tell me about the devil reversed. Why is the devil reversed here for Scorpio, please? Six of Swords. Yeah, you're breaking free from this toxic, unhealthy attachment here. You're, you're moving on. Even if, yeah, justice, again, even if someone doesn't want you to, you're going to move on with your life here, is what I see. Let me just move this a little bit. Yeah, I get the sense you guys are definitely going to rebalance the situation or a final decision has been made here. It could be a legal decision or just a final decision that you've made uh, based off of weighing all of the options and using your logic and reason here. Tell me about the King of Wands for Scorpio. Two of Wands reversed. So this is possibly a delay in plans or you possibly were looking out at the potential of something and you've recognized that there's that's not something you're going to be um, going after here temperance reversed possibly because you know that it'll be an unbalanced situation for you if you head in that direction tell me more about this king of wands page of pentacles reversed yeah i feel like um I feel like this King of Wands is, has switched, he has switched paths. Even though there's delays here, even though there's blockages here, it's not keeping this person from uh, making the decision that they no longer want to work on this. They no longer want to make an offer to someone. Um, it's almost like they want to withdraw the offer they initially made with the Page of Pentacles reversed. I feel like they've realized the situation was unbalanced here. Jeez. Tell me about the King of Pentacles reversed. Why is the pink King of Pentacles here reversed? Wow, Wheel of Fortune reversed. So yeah, there was some sort of bad luck in terms of finances or stability for you. But the Wheel of Fortune, it turns all the time. So bad luck is not forever. It's not permanent. Again, I feel like there was a stop here or something that came to a halt. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles. Reverse. Ten of Cups. Interesting. I feel like... Even though you are, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but even though they, um, this situation did a number on you, and even though you might not be as stable as you once were, even though you've been stubborn and you've lost some something, because someone here, the King of Pentacles Reverse, he's lost something here. Um, and even though it feels like bad luck, I feel like deep down you're happy to still have made this decision. Why the Ten of Cups? Why the Ten of Cups? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, because I think deep down you know that eventually you will be stable again. Or an offer will come to you. Or you'll be able to make an offer to someone else. Very interesting. I feel like, yeah, you. this person, if this is you, Scorpio, or the person you're dealing with they have realized that their happiness is probably elsewhere that they should be investing elsewhere 
somewhere where they can be actually emotionally fulfilled. So let's get some romance angels for you. What messages do you have for Scorpio? What message do you have for Scorpio? What message do you have for Scorpio? What message do you have for Scorpio? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay. Lighthearted energy. Interesting. I feel, and I'm just going to say this because I, I got the message very strongly. I feel like it's been a very long time, Scorpio, since you've been happy. Since you felt light of heart. I feel like you're, you've been burdened for so long that in whatever situation you've been in, that it's been difficult to to find reasons to smile to laugh to enjoy life Ooh. healing family issues so i i get the sense that if this is a family unit because we did have the ten of pentacles reversed here um this could be a factor the fact that um there might be issues with a family unit here and I think that's also been a concern of yours. If you have children, for example, or, or if you have family members involved that you've known for a long time and you're thinking about exiting out of a relationship, well, that might hurt more than one person. I'm also getting that someone here um, was stuck in a relationship or a commitment due to expectations that they had about relationships. Expectations that they probably brought on from childhood or something like that. Um, you know, maybe if someone has abandonment issues, for example, or if someone never had a stable home, uh, they never wanted to divorce. They never wanted to do that to in, in their life. Am I making sense here? I feel like there was an expectation for this person to follow through on a commitment then I have here make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so I'm seeing here um, steps you're guided to take I think spirit is guiding this person on this new path and it's going to take change effort work heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I do think there are going to be heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I don't know if it's going to be with the family or the group of people that are surrounding you or if it's going to be with this new person. Because I feel like um, some um, someone here, down here, has been manifesting, has been manifesting stability. This King of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles make a very nice pair. Okay? They're both stable grounded. So I get the sense someone here was manifesting a partnership like this. So it wouldn't surprise me if this King of Pentacles here, or um, which again could be you or this person you're dealing with, if they already have their eye on someone. Bottom of the deck, I have love yourself first. I do think a lot of you that whoever this is resonating for, um, you've lost your confidence a little bit. Um, and I think this is spirit reminding you that you, regardless, you have to love yourself first to be able to invite something good into your life. Um, you deserve love, that kind of energy. And even though there's certain blockages here, because I still see them, I don't think this is going to be a permanent blockage for you, Scorpio, or the person you're dealing with, whoever I'm talking to here. These blockages will not get in the way of you finding a more stable and grounded and mutually benef like emotionally beneficial love <clears throat> or commitment, you know? Thank you so much for spending time with me. Um, I hope this reading resonated with you. I hope that you got something out of it. 
If it did resonate, please let me know. I love hearing from you in the comments. If it didn't resonate, then that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. And you can check out your other placements for more messages. Thank you to everyone who has liked, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. Please consider subscribing or liking if you enjoy my readings. And I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.